Absolutely. I think they see science in a very positive ways. They're looking, I mean, you know, the taxpayer's dollar funds the research that's going on. So they, as a return investment, they need to be informed about what the sciences are that are being invested in, in these scientific projects and also what's going on with their tax, uh, their tax dollars. So I think that's Absolutely. important for the uh, to know. You know, one of the um, uh, games I like to do with people is say, just look at anything around you and it's all um, based on science that it got developed. I mean, your computer you're on, obviously, but even just more subtly, uh, you know, glass in your windows is developed due to science and um, a lot of your food transportation, a lot of, uh, you know, ultra, you know, all this different transportation, a lot of um, uh, different products you use, uh, all the medicines you're using, uh, it, you know, it's all on a scientific basis that led to the discoveries. And so it, you, I think people um, have to appreciate that it is really important, um, particularly because as we sort of start to study um, ourselves more, we start to realize that we do have a lot of challenges with uh, population growth and how we're using resources and the planet, etc., that are not sustainable right now. And really, science is one, um, you know, potential solution, right, to come up with, uh, uh, you know, some solutions to basically allow us to keep living the standard of living that we're. That I don't think it's necessarily so. I, I think the science, the funding of scientists are still being dictated by other scientists. So as you know, um, Canadian research and U.S. research, most of it's peer review system. And many scientists, in order, when they write grants, their work is peer reviewed by other scientists who have the same expertise and basically um, you know, in terms of development, whether those projects are feasible for funding. Um, there's a lot of diseases out there, like malaria, uh, for example, which are part of neglected diseases, and these are not being funded. But there is a huge need for these because you have millions and hundreds of millions of people being affected, but they're not being funded. And, you know, and, and in some cases, as a result of pharmaceutical companies, not wanting to fund research related to that because it doesn't represent a profit or a blockbuster drug for them. So in that sense, um, I definitely the public is doesn't have a strong say in what the their tax dollars are doing for research. I don't think they do right now. I think uh, if you certainly look at studies of what issues the, the people think are most important. Often, uh, you know, healthcare is up there and, uh, and other, other items come up to the forefront in a, including security as certain issues uh, come up. But, uh, you know, what I think they don't realize is that uh, for things to be sustainable and for healthcare to continue to provide care, for example, um, at the level they're doing, it, we do need a lot of science as a basis in the background. Um, for example, you know, in my research area, uh, you know, we have antibiotics to treat a lot of infections so that children don't die as much as they used to 100 years ago. It used to be very common that you would have a sibling who had died at one point from an infection. Um, now that's actually not very common. Uh, but people don't realize that we're just in this little uh, snapshot of time where we actually have uh, this uh, ability to control infections much better, but we're actually losing the race right now. We can't develop antibiotics as fast as bacteria are becoming resistant to them. So we really need science to develop not just new antibiotics, but new approaches to controlling infections, um, really out of the box approaches, similar to what's happened with you know, many technological innovations, right? Where you just transform, um, you know, for example, aspects of internet and social communication that allowed, um, you know, transformative change.